So I'm getting ready to do the earth sign reading. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you detach from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for earth signs. So we have Capricorn. Or whoever this person is, they could be a Capricorn. Somebody is upset because um, this could be someone that you're no longer in a relationship with. It's like you've released a toxic attachment, a toxic person. And you chose to focus on self-love. Now, this is someone that you realize that you just would not be able to trust. There was a lot of broken communication. You couldn't communicate with that person. Um, this is a situation that was imbalanced. It's like this person still has some type of tension. This could be because you're focusing on yourself right now and they can't. This person could be um, spiraling off like um, overindulging in this could be addictions. But I'm also getting that this person is someone that's very codependent. So whoever this person is, they're upset because they could no longer depend on you if this was some type of breakup because the two of cups is definitely a breakup. But they could be upset because they wanted you to be codependent to them. And if you're not codependent to this person, you don't need that person. Um, this is what fuels them. This is what has them so angry or mad. Maybe they didn't want to face this. Like they didn't want to face that you did not need them and they needed you. They were codependent to you. Yeah, they could be also upset because they cannot tempt you, seduce you. We have the world popping out in the reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely did not want something to end, so they tried to create a delay. And they thought this delay would satisfy them, but this created a tower. Because something backfired. So if this is someone who felt like they were going to prevent you from focusing on yourself, create some type of crisis, some type of tower in your life, it kind of set this person back way farther than they expected. And this could be financially, like a lot of things slowed down for that person. And it's like every time they think something is going to turn out good, it turns into a tower. Something that they don't expect. And right after this person, after you broke up with this person, walked away from this person, something was revealed to you with the tower. Now, this could be an actual awakening that you went through since you decided to just focus on you. Yeah, it's like you've healed. This separation have given you a lot of strength. You're able to show gratitude to yourself. You've gotten your emotions balanced out. And you're in a good space. 
But it's like this person is not. It's like this person is, it's like they refuse to focus on their self. This is someone who likes to throw tantrums when they cannot get their way. So if they felt like they weren't getting their way, maybe this person felt like after a breakup, something was not over. And once they realized that it was over, they tried to create a tower and it just backfired. This is someone who expected for you to keep investing in something with the seven of pentacles being here or they just expect it to be attached to you for uh the long term yeah they want you to stay invested in this partnership you have the star card popping out in the reverse wow This person is someone that is definitely like overindulging, but I keep getting trust issues. This is somebody that you could not trust. Even if you were attached to that person for a long time, this is someone that you shouldn't have trusted. Yeah, This is someone who also wants you to be disencouraged. Like they're not accustomed to you um, appreciating yourself, loving yourself, focusing on yourself. This is someone who's accustomed to like wanting you to be all over the place with this tower card being here. You being happy without this person, it has them all over the place. Yeah, this is a situation that is over. This has been laid to rest. It's over. Now, somebody wants to work with you. Whoever this um, high priestess is, this could be an actual Pisces. Or this person could be an earth sign as well. They could be a Virgo or Capricorn, take it where it resonates. But somebody wants to, this could be someone you don't know, like someone you haven't met before. You could be getting ready to meet this person at work or something that you do um, career-wise. But it's like there's a partnership, a hidden partnership. Or somebody just wants to team up with you. They feel like they could build something with you. Now this person is... Whoever this person is that wants to team up with you, they've been holding back because of some type of betrayal they went through. Um, this could be some type of loss. This could be financial loss. It's like they're accustomed to being in the six of wands, but something could have took place where that person is not in that same position that they were um, in the past. And this could be someone that's holding back because They feel like they don't have anything to bring to the table or they don't have anything to offer. Yeah, so they're just sitting back watching with the Page of Swords. This could be a legal situation that have took a lot from this person financially. With the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, it's like whatever this legal situation is, they've suffered a lot of financial loss. Yeah, but this person is still able to move forward with the Chariot. Even though they've suffered a lot of losses, they're still able to move forward.
It's like whatever they did, they could have been in some type of partnership with someone trying to build something um, or they were working with another person. And whoever they were working with, um, it's like somebody ended up going to jail or they went to jail with this person. Take it where it resonates. This is somebody who could have even took the fall for another person. And they ended up losing a lot financially. Whatever this person has gotten caught up in with another person or a group of people that they could have been working with. This is supposed to help them to change their direction, change their mindset so that they're able to move forward. Because it's like whatever they've accumulated working with these people, these were things that that were going to eventually like slip through their hands. They were going to lose because they did not receive it in a positive way. They could have gotten something in a dishonest way, got money in a dishonest way, um, illegal way or something like that. And now they have to change, like do a whole 360. Now, this is someone who wants to hold you. They're regretting what they did to you. Now, this could be this, this person that you broke up with. I knew you were the one when I first met you. I want to kiss you. Okay, so... If this is a new person... This is someone who sits back and they watch you. They're stuck on you. They're secretly admiring you. Um, the person that wants to partner up with you. Now, if you've met this person before, this is someone who feels like when they first met you, you were the one for them. Something could have took place in the past where um, this person could have gotten caught up in a situation and you haven't heard from that person or something like that. But if this is this ex, this person is reminiscent about um the past and they feel like if they stay stuck in the past this would stop you from moving forward they're in deep regret for what they did to you because they feel like it didn't get them anywhere it only made the situation like worse on their end Okay, so somebody, somebody let other people manipulate them into ghosting you. And now they're hoping that they could run into you, bump into you somewhere. This is definitely the person that is wanting to come towards you and partner up with you. And they're just watching you from afar. It's like whatever they did in the past... They feel like it was because of other people. Like the actions they took was because of other people. This could be someone who was trying to please other people, satisfy other people. And they got caught up in a situation with these people and they've lost a lot financially. Now they're wanting to come towards you, make things right with you. And they just don't know how to because this person feels... Like they don't have a lot financially. So this this could well be someone that's accustomed to being attached to people that does not have their own stability. They only use this person or it's something that they have to gain to be attached to them. And if you're not this type of person, they don't know how to approach you. So they're just keeping their self held back. Thinking negative about the situation with the Eight of Swords. This could also be someone who does not want to go through the same type of hurt. So they need to heal from whatever this, this three of swords is. Because there was some type of betrayal. And if this wasn't an actual like group of people that they teamed up to work with, this could have been a relationship that they felt like was going to work out. They worked hard for it to work out. And it just didn't. It kind of stripped that person financially.
And they feel like they're being left behind or you've moved forward and they're out in the cold. This is someone who wants to treat you the way that you deserve. And they've been working on their self. This is someone who wants you to know that they, they're not the same as they were before. They're in a different energy. They feel like you and them are meant to be together. And so whoever the person is that you've broken up with, this is someone that you could have a child with. A child's toxic mother or father. Yeah, whatever they did to try to stop you from moving forward, focusing on yourself, you are protected from this. Now, whoever this other person is, you have right person, wrong time. So whoever that person is, this is someone that you were supposed to encounter. But it's like this person was working hard or dedicated to something else. Um, so at a time that they ghosted you, it was just not the right time for you and that person to be in communication or something like that. But the separation has definitely speeded up a process of them choosing to work on their self, focus on their self. They realize they have to change their direction. They have to change a certain energy, certain mindset that they had or a certain energy they were in. Now, somebody is under investigation. Yeah, because of some type of false accusations. So somebody could have made false accusations against another person and now they're under investigation or somebody accused another person of something and they wanted that person to be investigated. They wanted the authorities to watch that person. And it's like whoever the person is that they made these false accusations against, this is someone that was protected. So if there was some type of false accusations that were made to the authorities about you, you were protected from this. It's like somebody got angry and this could be this ex. We have Taurus. This is definitely earth sign energy. You could be a Taurus. You exposed a spell work. So somebody got upset because you found out about some type of magic, some type of spell work. I don't know why I'm getting grouped. So I'm thinking about the three of pentacles. Whoever the person is that ghosted you, you could have exposed somebody that that person was attached to. And a group of people made some type of false accusations to the authorities about you. It's like this person friends could have helped them. They could have paid different people to help them to spread these lies about you to spark up some type of investigation. Now, whatever you were supposed to be investigated for after exposing this spell work, this could be someone that was using a number of spells on different people. They could have been trying to use love spells, different um, forms of manipulation to keep this person stuck that wants to come toward you and partner up with you. But whatever the case is, you are protected from these false accusations. Now they're being investigated. Yeah, somebody lied in a legal situation. So the authorities could be realizing a lot of people told lies. A lot of people made false accusations and they could have been investigating why. Why did these people lie on this person? What did this person do to those people? 
And if they were investigating you, they feel like you're in the energy of working hard to better yourself or become a better person. You're not focused on anything or anyone else but yourself. And these are people that did not know that something would backfire the way that it has backfired. Because these are people that are not focused on their self. Somebody start focusing on you when you expose the truth. And if they had other people helping them, it's like a group of people were focused on you because you exposed the truth. Now, whoever this person is that wants to come towards you, they could be realizing these are people that they cannot trust. They're definitely realizing you are right about something. This could be someone's um, karmic partner, karmic soulmate. We have peace. And they paid others to spread lies on you. So this is the conclusion that these investigators have came to. You're at peace. You're happy. So somebody felt like they were going to cause some type of unexpected trauma, tower, crisis in your life to break your peace. So it's like not only this ex is in this energy of wanting you to be unhappy. They want to break your peace because they are not happy. Or you're not in the energy of feeling like you need them because they need you. You also have this three of pentacles energy, a group of people behind the scenes trying to make sure they can break your peace. These are people that did not think that this would backfire. You would be protected from this. These are people that suffer from some type of low self-esteem. They definitely didn't expect for justice to be served, balance, fairness. Yeah, they just wanted to hurt you. These are things that they did in the past to like deliberately hurt you. They felt like this would have you in despair. Yeah, because you're someone that knows your self-worth. And if you try to warn someone else about someone using some type of spell work, um, manipulation and trickery over them, it was because they were trying to keep that person confused in a toxic cycle. They needed to have control over that person. They needed to hold on to that person. They needed that person to believe that they were going to build something together. But one person was doing all of the work. Or one person could have been investing more or something like that. And they weren't getting anything out of the situation. We have Virgo. So you could be a Virgo. One of these people could be a Virgo. But this is definitely Earth sign energy. Yeah, and it's like, if this person that wants to come towards you and they've lost a lot financially, their finances are not the same as they were before. Because um, for whatever reason, they felt like they were going to build something with this three of pentacles. They just didn't. It was like designed to fall. Because this is someone who did not know that this person was using some type of spell work over them and what they were doing behind the scenes. It's like this was backfiring onto them. Whatever this person was doing, manipulating that person, tricking that person, this could have been to get money from them, control their finances. That person did not have any finances. It's like they got caught up in a situation where they had to just focus on their self. In order for something to be balanced out for them so they would be able to move forward, take action towards changing their direction.
It's like this is someone who needed to realize they've attached their self to negative karma. Whoever this karmic soulmate is, that person has like a financial curse over them for this manipulation, this trickery, these spells, whatever they're doing behind the scenes that have been hidden for a long time. It's like they operate out of dark energy. This is someone that's very in tune, but they use it in a negative way. They use it to manipulate and trick people. And they just never wanted that person to know that they were using some, something to control them, to keep them stuck. Now, this could have been an air sign. Or one of these people could be an air sign. Take it where it resonates. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This could be someone that they weren't in a relationship with. This could just be someone that they were sleeping with. Because you have intimacy and air sign. And they didn't know this person was off into magic, love, spells, and different things like that. This is someone who definitely wanted to make sure this person was not intimately attracted to anyone else. Yeah. We have caution and move on. So yeah, something definitely happened. They could have found out whatever you said was true about that person. And this is what's helping them to move on from that person. This could be someone who definitely did not believe you in the past. Yeah, and it's like this, as I said, this is how that person started watching you. They felt like you were doing research or you were doing your homework. You knew exactly what was going on. Now, it's like if they've separated from that person, they're watching this person to see if that person is coming towards you with date night and manifest being here. They're trying to see if you and that person are in communication. Um, will you and that person hook up or something like that? But you also have the person that you're not attached to watching it's like they're waiting to see if you have got in another connection. Are you dating other people? Who are you getting to know? Because this is someone that you are distant from. It's like you haven't been attached to that person for a long time. This person could even live in another state. But they're like stuck on you. Yeah, it's like whoever this energy is, and then <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, whoever this person is that you broke up with, they could be under some type of investigation as well. Like they didn't know this person was someone that was behind the scenes trying to create confusion because you exposed some type of truth about them because they were too busy behind the scenes trying to create confusion because you walked away from them. So all of these people could be being investigated and they don't know. It's like something immediately backfired. They felt like they were going to sit back behind the scenes, create towers, unexpected events for you, um, and just stalk you, spy on you, watch you suffer. They were interested to see if it was working or not. It's like somebody kept doing something over and over and over again. And they just didn't expect for this to backfire the way that it did. Like somebody is going through a tower. Yeah, so this was definitely their karmic soulmate wanted revenge after you exposed this. So whoever this person is that you exposed this spell work to, their karmic soulmate wanted revenge. So they went and paid others to make false, ac um, false accusations against you in a legal situation. And they could have felt like they've created a tower in your life. 
They were satisfied with what they did, but they did not know they would not be satisfied with the outcome. They didn't know this was a situation where they would be being investigated. And a lot of things that they do do behind the scenes that they feel like, you know, they're getting away with, it's actually noted. Like somebody is being studied and they don't know. Yeah, and you're focusing on yourself. Focus on loving yourself. You could be someone who's been practicing celibacy. Yeah, focus on yourself right now. We have a destined partnership. So whoever this person is that ghosted you, there's a destined partnership between you and them. You have jealousy, needy and codependent, stressing and addictions. So whoever these people are that wanted you to be seen as someone that was not speaking the truth, they're stressed out. And they could be going through a lot of financial loss and they're all over the place because they're wanting to feed these addictions that they're codependent to. Whoever was investigating this, the authorities, the people that were lied to, they feel like these are people that acted out of jealousy. These are people that are confused or were trying to create some type of confusion because they're needy and codependent. Yeah, and these are people you don't even know. Like whoever their karmic soulmate is, this is someone you don't know. But they know exactly who you are. This was a hidden enemy and that person is suffering in silence. Now, whoever this ex is, this is someone that you definitely know, but they got behind the scenes and felt like you wouldn't know what they did. Now they've created a lot of turmoil in their life, drama, chaos. Unexpected karma. Because of what they did to you. This is someone that's upset because they could no longer use you. This was like a loveless relationship. There was nothing to keep you attached to this person. They didn't want to accept or they don't want to accept that You've learned whatever lesson you needed to learn from them and you've moved forward. They're not learning the lesson that they need to learn so they could move forward. So it's like they're keeping their self delayed. They, they're keeping their self set back. They're keeping their self in a never ending cycle. And whatever they do, it just backfires. It keeps backfiring. Same with whoever this energy is, this person's karmic soulmate that you have this divine partnership with. Everything that that person does, it just keeps backfiring. It's like they're getting what they put out. And everything they could have felt as if they got away with in the past before they did what they did to you, that's coming back full circle. Okay, so this card is... um. Messages from the Universe Oracle card. This card says we are always speaking to you and sending you messages. So you're definitely receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities from the universe. When you feel like you are alone in a situation, just know that we just know that you never truly are. We are reminding you to stop, look around and believe in something else. Something more. We've got your back. So, yeah. You decided to use your intuition. You decided to believe in yourself, want what's best for yourself, and you've gotten out of this relationship. This was definitely like a karmic relationship, toxic relationship, codependent relationship. Yeah. You seeing your worth has definitely helped you to um, want something more for your life and also manifest something more.
It's like you're manifesting the div a divine partnership. But you needed to see your worth first in order to manifest this. Whoever the person is that you have this divine partnership with, they needed to see their worth as well. It's like they had to be brought back to reality. You needed to be brought back to reality. So whatever these towers are that took place on your end, on this person's end, it needed to take place so um, an encounter can happen. Something could be balanced out. This could be karmic justice being served between you and this person or for you and whoever the person is that you have this destined partnership with. But both you and that person needed to move on from situations. And this could be to do, to um, come in union to partner up with the Three of Pentacles and do something that you're supposed to be doing together, like working together and doing. Because you couldn't do whatever you're destined to do with this karmic partner. They couldn't do whatever they're destined to do with this karmic partner. You could have took a lot of losses. You were going through a lot of unexpected karma being attached to this karmic soulmate. They were going through the same thing as well. So it's like both of both you and this destined partner needed to wake up to something. Yeah. This was a spiritual awakening. You and that person needed to go through a spiritual awakening so you could get on your spiritual path. 